Greetings, everybody. It's your old pal Frank here, and happy Monday. So, folks, I'm going to be honest with you. Originally, today, I had no idea for what to do for a video. But luckily, this past weekend, I got to hit up a card show. So it's a haul video that's saving the day. <laughs> and um, for the past little while, I was kind of on, on the fence on if I was going to actually be attending this show. But initially, I uh, purchased a VIP ticket for 15 bucks, which entitles you to early access to the show, uh, a ticket for a free spin on their prize wheel, and a mystery envelope of a sport of your choosing. So I chose hockey, and uh, you're guaranteed anywhere from between 20 to to $100 in card value. So we'll see what we get when we rip into our envelope. And uh, since I bought a VIP ticket, I was like, well, I guess I got to go to the show now because even if I don't plan on buying anything, I still got some free swag waiting for me. So I was like, well, I guess we're going to the show. And then once I got there, uh, I did have a couple extra bucks in my pocket. So I was like, okay, let's take a look around and see you know, if we could snag any cheap stuff or cool stuff or whatever. And, uh, yeah, I got a neat little chunk of cards here to show you. And um, the one table I was at the most was uh, this couple. They ended up bringing, like, uh, I think it was, like, 10 5,000-count boxes and everything in the boxes were were 50 cents a piece. So I pulled up a chair and I sat there for a good, I'd say, half an hour to an hour just digging through 50 cent cards, which was pretty neat. So that, uh, I picked up some, uh, some autograph cards, like in-person autographs, but they're really cool. And um, yeah, just got some really cool stuff. But before we get to that, uh, there's a couple things I wanted to mention. First things first, uh, I posted a picture of this on Instagram the other day. And uh, I thought I would let you guys here on uh, on YouTube as well uh, know. Uh, I, was, I was putting some of my uh, young guns away in their respected binders and that. And I realized I had an extra Jason Robertson. So... If anyone out there still needs a Jason Robertson and uh, you're interested in, let's say, doing a trade or something, uh, hit me up in the comments below or hit me up on Instagram and uh, let's work something out. So, because uh, I mean, like I said, I have one in my set already, so this one's just going to be sitting in, in my trade box. So, uh, if you guys need an extra Jason Robertson, hit me up. And also, uh, little little thing about my uh, my 300 sub contest. Uh, things are going good. I, I'm up to uh, three entries so far, and um, that's awesome because I didn't even know if anyone was going to enter. But uh, I do realize that the prizes are very hockey heavy. I mean, the first prize is a Kirill Kaprizov Young Gun. Second prize is a uh, blaster, a Walmart blaster box of uh, 2021 Opeachy Platinum. So I figured if if enough people enter the contest, uh, what I'll do is I'll add a third prize and I'll make it a uh, like a $25 like prepaid Visa card. And uh, whoever wins that, you guys could, you know, buy whatever other sport you're into besides hockey because I know there's a lot of you out there are more strictly baseball or football or basketball or baseball or NASCAR or soccer or whatever you know so so yeah so if if more people enter I'll add a third uh, third prize and it'll be a, a $25 prepaid uh, visa card or whatnot so just wanted to let you know all right, so now that I got all those details out of the way, let's uh, put this up here and uh, let's see what I got, shall we? 
So, first things first, I uh, got into the show and I went and used my, my ticket for my free spin on the, uh, the show prize wheel and I got to pick a prize and there was a bunch of uh, cards laid out all, you know, signed again, like in-person autographs and that. And I was looking them all over and I was like, yeah, okay, yeah, that one's meh, you know, a lot of no-namers. But when I saw this one, I was like, oh, yeah, that is, that's coming home. We got Biz Nasty, baby. Yes, sir. Got me a Paul Bissonnette uh, in-person auto from, this is what, uh, 13, 14, yeah, 13, 14 score. And, uh... I'm very happy with this, <laughs> and I love the write-up on the back. Uh, he has more than 400,000 followers on Twitter, meaning Bissonnette knows how to entertain the masses off the ice. On the ice? Well, <laughs> that's a given for the Phoenix fan favorite. There's never a dull moment during Bissonnette's shifts. He plays the game hard and doesn't mind visiting the penalty box. Ain't that the truth? But, uh, yeah, I saw that, and I was like, that's coming home. So, there we go. Biz nasty. Mm. <laughs> then, uh, I went digging through some more boxes, and I found this for, I believe I paid two bucks for this. It's from 2020 Tops. It's a short print of Yaz, baby. Got me a Carl Yastrzemski short print. Can't go wrong for two bucks. So uh, I was happy about that. Then uh, I hit up a, a local guy. He had a bunch of boxes set up. And uh, he had a whole bunch of uh, 62 tops. Oh no, sorry, 65 tops, sorry. And uh, because I ran into him in Toronto at the expo, he remembered me. And he told me, he goes, yeah, any, anything in the box is, uh, I'll, 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 I'll knock like 30% off the sticker price. So I was like, okay. So I got these three uh, really nice uh, 65 tops cards all uh, for 10 bucks. Three cards for 10 bucks. So I got this really nice Tito Francona. As I'm sure a lot of you know, this is uh, um, Terry Francona's dad. So that's pretty neat. Got this uh, Bill, Billy Ryan. Yeah. And then <laughs> when I saw this, I was like, oh, I have to get it. Probably one of the greatest unibrows in baseball, Mr. Wally Moon. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, got some 65s that I needed. Then, um, as I said, there was the... the the couple with the 10,000, 10, no, sorry, 5,000 card boxes, all at 10 cents a piece. So, I got a really nice uh, Johnny T UD canvas, and this is actually card number one in the canvas set. But uh, I got it because I needed it, but also I love canvas cards that have the mascots on them. And I mean... I don't know what it is, but Brent Burns seems to really have a fun time with Sharky. That's why he has so many canvas cards with him and Sharky together. But uh, I thought this was pretty cool with uh, John Tavares and Carlton. So we got that. Uh, got some more Brodeur cards for my PC. Like this uh, Lord Stanley's Heroes from uh, Upper Deck. Very nice. I got this... Uh, NHL award winners from 0708 and I got this spectacular saves from uh, 09 upper deck and I even got a few uh, well a few two uh, stonewalled cards I still needed from my 1819 set so we got Mr. Ron Hextall and Mr. Jerry Cheevers so those were cool. Those were all 50 cents a piece. Can't go wrong there. Then uh, went to this uh, table over near the um, 
Well, it was a it was a thing set up for for the Montreal Expos, like Expos Nation they have going on here. And um so they had a binder of all like, you know, in-person autographs and that of players who played with the Expos. And these two, I saw them and I was just like, oh, hell yeah. So first, I finally got myself a Bill Lee auto. And it just so happens to be on his rookie card. So can't go wrong with that. And then I finally got myself a Larry Walker autograph. Now, mind you, it's not on an Expos card. It's on a Colorado Rockies card. But I don't care because this auto is so clean. And in that binder, the guy had two. This one and another one. And the other auto was kind of smudged where he does his hook here. But this one was like, oh, and it pops, man. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, I got to get that. So finally got myself a Larry Walker auto. Super happy. And then because I bought the Bill Lee autograph, the guy also threw in this laminated postcard. And as you could see very faintly, it's signed in pen. Best wishes, Bill Lee. And uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool as a freebie. Then uh, got got a non-sports card here. Well, this is actually more for my dad because his birthday's coming up. Uh, this is from 1952 uh, Topps Wings. Uh, this is my dad's favorite Canadian aircraft, the CF-100. So had to pick something up for Pops to go with his uh, Rush Jackson card that I got him from the National. Then I got this really sweet Topps Gallery card from 2019 Topps Gallery. Master and Apprentice. Vladdy Sr. and Vladdy Jr. Oh, this is so cool because you got the big O in the back. You got the CN Tower. Oh, this is so nice. So, had to get that. And then the last two cards I picked up before leaving, I got this clear-cut Phenoms of uh, Miro Heiskanen. That's from 1920, Tim Hortons. Uh, I'm still putting that set together very slowly and... I figured, what the heck, pick up one of the harder inserts to get for that set. So I got one of these. And then for two bucks, I got me a Grant Hill rookie card. I'm like, yeah, what the hell, you know? So, I, again, I don't have a lot of basketball stuff. So I saw this and I was like, sure, why not? So, so that's all the loose stuff. Now, uh, let's see what's in our envelope, huh? Okay, we got two cards here. Uh, I <laughs> I don't think I'm in the hundred dollar range, folks. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm in the twenty dollar range. <laughs> we got uh, from fifteen sixteen Upper Deck Series two. We got a UD game jersey of Chris Kreider, and then from fifteen sixteen Upper Deck Series two. We got a rookie materials of Jordan Wheel. Yeah, don't think I hit the, the big time on this one. But hey, it was a mystery pack at the door. So what the hell? All in all, I got some cards. Uh, if, if anyone out there needs a Kreider or a Jordan Wheel <laughs> materials card... Hit me up. They're available along with the, the Jason Robertson uh, Young Gun. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give her a thumbs up. If not, give her a thumbs down. And most importantly, folks, before leaving, make sure to like, comment, and click that big old subscribe button as well. Make sure to click that notification bell to let you guys know when my videos go live. I hope you guys have a great week, and uh, as I say at the end of every video, folks, keep collecting what you enjoy collecting, and I'll see you all in the next one. Laters!